Billions of years of evolutionary advancement. And then we have Cassie. Uh, ooh. Happy day, I'm glad! <laughs> and welcome to the final date of Flix and Chill. I've had so much fun on all these different dates, but today we are joining Mark and Camila. Let's play, and let's get this Mark guy a nice little date. Let's make it end well. Mark's pretty thirsty, and so am I. Here he is. Okay, so let's see what I've written so far. TP Me is a toilet paper renewal service that automatically senses when you run out of toilet paper and automatically sends a new package of toilet paper to your door. Brilliant idea. I'm an entrepreneur. The toilet paper itself is made from 80% recycled toilet paper, making it one of the greenest investments you can make. Usually toilet paper is made from recycled paper, but instead, I dig out of the sewer, I get the little scraps that are decomposing, and it's just, it's so green. For a subscription of only $8 per month, it's a bargain. And great for professionals too busy to buy their own toilet paper. $8 a month? I was just about to complain about the $8 a month, and Terry's like, that's actually pretty good. Ready to get TP'd? Sign up at TP Me today! Alright, Mark. Hey, buddy. Still working on the pitch? Yup, it's just about ready to send off to the investors. It's lunchtime, Mark. You should be enjoying some of Sarita's homemade enchiladas. They're organic. These guys are very... hip. I don't have time for enchiladas, Steven. The future of toilet paper delivery is at stake. All right, give him a talking to, would you, Steven? Look, Mark, I know having the startup is really important to you. It's really important to me too. But you gotta take scheduled breaks once in a while. It's very important. It helps keep your mind sharp and allows you to deliver quality work. I mean, even Steve Jobs took frequent breaks to meditate and ponder his place in the universe. You should as well. You're pretty much Steve Jobs with all this butt wiping stuff. Hmm, so I should go on a yoga retreat or something? Oh, is he gonna meet her at a yoga retreat? Hell no! That's boring. How about this? Why don't you come along tonight to this tango class I've been going to? It'll be great! Ooh, so they're gonna meet at a tango class. It'll really help you reconnect with your artistic side, and you'll come back sharper than ever, ready to deliver that pitch. Plus, there'll be sexy ladies there! And no offense, man, but I don't see you going on too many dates lately. So, what do you say? Um, yeah, sexy ladies. Say no more. You have my attention. <laughs> Great. Meet me there at 8. It'll be awesome. You just wait. Alright, Mark, you better hook it up. Oh, and by the way, you want one of these enchiladas? I think there's a garlic one left. Or you can just eat my granola bar over there. Just eat something. Jeez. I'm gonna eat the enchil- Oh. Oh, oh, uh, uh. I'm not farting tonight. I am not farting tonight. I'm not shitting my pants tonight. We're having a granola bar. Oh, yeah. I think I'll go for the granola bar. Nothing too heavy. Thanks, man. If I had the enchilada, there would have been some poops. We're not having poops. No prob. See you at eight, bud. See ya. I'm cool as a cucumber. I'm an entrepreneur. Look at this. I'm so proud of my work. But it's time to make some love. All right, so it looks like we got the teacher here. We've got some girls from the last dates. We got an old couple here. Maybe I'm into old ladies. I don't know. Here we are. All right, here we are. It looks like a gallery in here. Yeah, ain't it great? Kinda. Ah, oh, Steven, how nice to see you again. Buenos noches, Antonio. Did I pronounce that right? All right, so they know each other. Ah, and who is this? A fledgling tango dancer? This is my buddy, Mark. He's a fellow co-founder of our company. Ah, it is so nice to meet you. Any friend of Steven's is a friend of mine. I'm just here to meet sexy, but I'm not gonna say that. Pleasure's all mine, Antonio. I'm ready. This guy's into it. Antonio has been dancing the tango professionally for 30 years. He's amazing. Oh, you humble me, Steven. I am merely a student, as we all are. Okay, so this guy's really feeling it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a class to begin. <laughs> Hope you have joy, Mark. Uh, thanks, Antonio. Looking forward to it. Off I go. He's so cool. Hey, you want a mint? Yes, 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 give me a mint. I mean, I didn't have the enchilada- Oh. He was trying to give me a garlic enchilada. What's wrong with him? Sure, why not? Should probably smell nice so I'm not breathing gross breath in anyone's face. My guy's too slick, I'm not screwing up this date. No, I'm not eating garlic enchiladas before I go to a dance class. Are you crazy? Want some advice? You should try looking for your partner now before the class starts and she gets taken. I got dibs on that one over there. Oh, she's hot. Who? Antonio? No, he's assistant Veronica. To be honest, she's the real reason I come here every week. Hubba hubba. Hmm, okay. Let me see who my partner will be. You will be mine. Wow. Who's that? The girl on the left? That's Sarah. She likes punk rock. No, no. The girl on the right, the Latina. I would have chose her, but I thought she had a boyfriend already. Oh, ho, ho. you got a good eye, my friend. That's Camila. She comes here every week as well, and she's a really good dancer. Is she single? Well, why don't you dance with her and inadvertently find out? Hmm. 
Maybe I will. I don't like doing all this work, though. I just want to know the answers now. Okay, everyone gather around. The class is about to begin. Oh boy, here we go. So, who here has ever been to a tango class before? Me. I I lied. I lied. I, I've never been to a tango. Uh-oh. Wait, I thought she was a good dancer. She didn't put her hand up. Oh, man, I think I'm... Okay. Ah, so we have some experienced students today. Mark, would you please tell the rest of the students where tango originated? You might might want to get Google ready. Buenos Aires. I know, I didn't Google this shit. Ah, oh, Buenos Aires, Argentina. I did not Google that. I mean, it's Argentinian tango. Yeah, I'm staying cool. No, no, no! But nice try, Mark. I Googled it! No! No, I'm so mad. Total fail, bro. The history of tango is a long and interesting one. Contrary to popular belief, it is not solely a Latin dance. Although it did originate along the border of Uruguay and Argentina. Hey, excuse me, I just said Argentina. Can you at least give me a little credit? You humiliated me in front of my date. Actually, it has influences of African and European culture, and it originated in the lower class districts on the outskirts of Argentina, created by immigrants from all over the world. He keeps saying Argentina over and over again. And my arms are crossed because I'm pissed. Keep saying it all! Keep saying it all! Keep saying it all! Although a very sultry and romantic dance, the dance is actually designed as a form of conflict resolution. Like a dance battle, if you will. The way you move, the call, and the response. The way you break away and then come back together. It is reminiscent of a dispute between two lovers. So at its very core, it is sexy because it acknowledges that fierce passion isn't always an easy thing and that every relationship is developed through strife. Through strife. Hey, thank you. Think about work. Oh, I shouldn't have thought about Oh no, I'm screwing it up! Hmm. If we added a sensor inside the toilet bowl, we could even sense the amount of toilet paper they would need to use. That would allow us to gather data and metrics. Shh, Mark! You're killing my tango vibes with all your poop talk. And so tango is a beautiful argument developed by people from cultures all over the world. And in my opinion, it is one of the most important dances you can learn to feel truly alive. Okay, Antonio, like, I'm... I just want to dance and go on a date. So, let's get dancing. Veronica, please guide our students for the first step. Okay, so to begin, let me teach you how to ask a partner to dance. The way one would ask someone to dance is not by simply going up and asking them, no, 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 no. That can be awkward, especially when the man is inevitably rejected. The correct way to ask is by using a cabaseho, which comes from the word cabeza, meaning head. Okay, I'll remember that. Do you see? It is a tiny head motion that you use to ask a woman to dance from across the floor. If she says yes, then you can proceed to ask her verbally. Now, you try. Lock eyes with your desired partner and give her the cabeza. Alright, do it, Mark. Uh, ooh. I'm gonna give you the look. I'm giving you the look. You! Give me the Hey! I'm trying to click on my date here. Oh, man, everyone's in my way. I can't cabeza Camila. I gotta get the right angle. Okay. Move. Everybody move. Time the head motions just right by clicking anywhere when the notification pops up. Okay. I missed. Damn it. Where's the notification? Ah! Got her. I got one. What's up? How you doing? I better get this one. Hey, hey! Yes, give him crazy eyes. Why, yes, young man. I would love to dance with you. No, 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 no! Uh, uh, I didn't mean, uh... No, no. Shh. Speak with your body, not your lips. No, please, please, old lady. Please, Bridget. I don't have time for this right now. No! No! She's dancing with fucking Tony Montana! Okay, I see that each of you has a partner. However, in tango, like in love, it is never so simple. So we are going to be doing a little swinging. What kind of class did you take me to? Shh! I'm dancing with Steven's grandma! You must grip your partner firmly, but you must also learn to let go of grace. Now, begin. A bunch of rings will pop up. Hit the blue one to switch to the right. Ah, I want it. What? Why am I dancing? Why am I dancing with Steven? What are you, what are you doing? Oops, sorry. Switch. Ah, I want the blue one. Okay, I'm dancing with this lady that my boy wanted to dance with, but I want, I want you. Switch. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. I got, am I ever gonna meet with the girl I want? Switch. 
Oh, I got the wrong one. No! Oh, no, I'm, I'm with Tony again. You're messing up my game, man. Sorry. After a series of hard romances, you finally land upon a partner you can tolerate for more than five minutes. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Um, hi! Uh, I'm Camila. It's very nice to meet you, Camila. I'm so nervous now, because the whole time I was trying to get with you. You learn about their interests, what makes them tick. You come here often? Where are you from? You dance very well. I'm gonna ask if she comes here often because Steven told me she did, and I mean, I know this already, but I wanna like, you know, I wanna get her to say it, so I'm acting like I'm learning it for the first time. You, uh, you come here often? Yeah, uh, I guess. Every week. Dip! Dip! Oh! Almost said, almost did dope? You learn more about your partner with time and experience. So, what do you do for work? I'm an innovative entrepreneur, actually. Thank you for asking. I was about to say I deliver toilet paper, which is the truth, but I'm an entrepreneur. Ah, another man who thinks he can change the world by making apps. Hey, you can change the world by making apps. Look at Uber or Facebook. Well, I'll believe it when I see it, Chico. Well, she's sassy. Dip! Dip! With even more time, you learn to know their strengths, their weaknesses. Ah, uh, you know, I never say this, but your breath smells very nice. I find oral hygiene very attractive in a man. I'm so glad I didn't eat the garlic enchilada, but this does not seem to be going well. Oh, uh, thanks. <laughs> derp! Derp! Oh, I almost hit derp. Oh, oh boy. And that concludes the class. However, before we conclude each class, I always ask if any of you would like to dance. Show off what you have, so to speak. Any- anyone? Dude, you should totally ask Camila to dance for the class. What? Are you serious? It'll be super embarrassing if she says no. In the immortal words of Steve Jobs, stay foolish, stay hungry. Now that you mention it, I'm still kind of hungry. That granola bar didn't cut it. Perfect. Go to her, my man. What do you mean perfect? I'm hungry. All right, but if I get rejected, it's on you. Hi! Oh, oh, hi again, Chico. Hey, Camila. So, I really enjoy dancing with you, and I feel like we have some really cool chemistry. Uh-huh. Well, I was wondering if you'd like to dance. Now. Kind of show off our moves a bit. How does that sound? Hmm. Sorry, Chico. But I don't really feel the same way. Oh. Uh, I understand. Nope, no problem. Sorry. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, no, this is my first rejection. Oh! Well, if there's no volunteers, then that concludes the class. Thank you everyone for coming out and have a great rest of your night. And so I conclude that with the subscription model and the allure of 80% recycled toilet paper, we can have an ROI of I hate my life that far exceeds the initial investment. Gentlemen, the world is ready to get TP'd. Thank you. Uh oh, the investor's not having it. So, uh, what do you think? His confidence is completely shot. No! This dance class is a terrible, terrible idea. No offense, Mark, but that's one of the dumbest ideas I have ever heard. The dumbest idea I've ever heard, for sure. I have no idea if you were joking or not. Like, what is this? Is this some kind of practical joke? Sir, please, if you just took a minute to look at the statistics. I've had enough of statistics. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have real businesses to invest in. Good day! Sir. No, my life is falling apart. It's getting flushed down the toilet like all the toilet paper that I recycle. No. On one hand, I'm upset that I lost, but on the other hand, I'm glad that I did because with the other ones, I was just like, whoo, and I got them all. So I hope you guys enjoyed the final date. I will probably try it again and try to win it if you guys are interested. If you enjoyed this video, please give it one of these and make sure you subscribe and give that gloomy subscribe button. But if it picked me up, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.